was what my mother wanted. Perfection. <laughs> I tell you something. My heart said, and I am all forlorn. Cause my man's treating me mean. I regret the day that I was born. And that man of mine I've ever seen. My happiness, it never lasts a day. Oh, my heart is almost breaking. What I say, oh, ah, oh, good man is hard to find. You always get the other guy. Just when you think that he is your pal, you look for him and find him fooling around. And let me tell you, that hurt, honey. And then he raves, and you even crave to see him laying deep in his grave. So if a man is nice, take my a showstopper. <laughs> oh, my God. That was terrific. How do you do that in the morning? Well, I don't know. And it is morning for me because, you know, we opened last night at the Latin Casino. You and Shecky Green. Shecky. And it was a fantastic opening. Exciting. Well, he's such a doll, you he's know. He's beautiful. He's wonderful he's to funny. work with. Yeah, he oh, is. Oh, he's funny. I so perceptive, him. isn't he? Fantastic. Right. Are those your sentiments, what you were just saying? My se sure. You better believe it. <laughs> that, what do you think, Sybil? You're not having any trouble with men. Well, huh? how do you do? <laughs> that was fantastic. I was just pounding my feet away and ready to give, give it to him. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh... We didn't meet. No, we didn't. How do you do? Hello. <laughs> you, had, you had second thoughts about coming on the show. I didn't. Today, I didn't want to be on the show with Sybil. <laughs> <laughs> why? Now I know why. <laughs> no, really. I got to tell you. See. Every time I went to try out for a job when I started out in show business, I'd go to an agent's office 
and there was always a tall, willowy, blonde <laughs> walking out. <laughs> and I would say to myself, if this gorgeous, tall, willowy blonde is going out, why am I going in? <laughs> and it used to drive me nuts. Yeah. What does willowy mean? Do you know oh. I've been called willowy all my life? Yeah. Willowy. You have that look, you know. Willow. Weeping willows yes, or something? Yes, it's just Long so things. elegant and everything. And I always wondered if you harbored a secret desire, Sybil. To be ugly? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> To be short, dark, and Jewish. Did you I'd like to be? <laughs> yes, I dreamt about that last Maybe night. Maybe you really are, and it's all camera angles. Yes, that's all. It's all the magic of movies. Would you no. want to be a sex symbol and a, and a real raving beauty? I would. Raging? Yeah, I always wanted. To, I always wanted to look like Sybil. You know I what? Think everybody always, wants to look like you. Know, you. but we're always talking about. You're talking about the tall, willowy blondes. But you know, the only star. The only real female star in movies today yeah. is Barbara Streisand. That's right. She certainly the is. The only one with power. I mean, <laughs> truthfully. I mean, you know, we're always saying the willowy blondes and all this. And That's the willowy right. blondes aren't doing too good. That's right. She is. She's the superstar yeah. here, too. She's the only, the only female in the top ten box office attractions. There are nine guys and That's one right. girl. And Barbara is, I think, number eight last one time I looked. Extraordinary. That makes me feel good. Then there's oh. hope. There is hope, Mike. Yeah, certainly What is. made you decide? To, because you're a lady of many talents. I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't think they even know about your drawings and everything. She's yeah. got amazing talent. But what made you decide to become an impressionist? Well, it was my way of hiding. You know, I think everybody hides. I think actresses hide a lot, and, and that's how I do it. It's easier for me to be a character than it is for me to be myself. It also commands immediate attention. And it certainly does. That's right. <laughs> Let me do, tell you. Do, do a little. Do I a mean, when, <laughs> when I want to be blonde, I just, oh. <laughs> I just transform myself into me. <laughs> Let me tell you something, a man never walks out on me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. They may carry him out, but he never walks out, honey. <laughs> That's true, and I'll tell you something else. You know, I'm very excited about our new president, Gerald Ford. <laughs> He is still our president, isn't it, Mike? Yes, he is. Yes, yes he was well, good. What time? Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, they told me he was interested in an. Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, no. I have a serious. Where are my glasses? What glasses? My glasses. I can't see. I can't hear without them. Listen, you can't hear without your I glasses? Can't. I don't know why that is. My darling, I have a serious problem. What? What is that? Well, you see, I can't do any imitations of anybody. Yeah. And you do them so well. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, how do you do it? <laughs> how do I do it? Yeah, can you give me some tips? Be Seriously. I'm doing, you mean I'm doing impressions? I try to do impressions, and I'll be doing Gary Cooper, and they'll say, Cary Grant! <laughs> and I'll go, yeah. No, it's, it's something that is just a kind of an innate thing. And it, it it's is an there innate or it's talent. not, I think. Maybe. You'll just have to be beautiful, and I'll do the impressions. And the next one... Do you think men are more attracted to blondes than they are brunettes? To blondes, yes. I think they're more attracted to blondes, definitely. When I was blonde, they were more attracted to me. You're and when I when I turned brunette, which I did because the roots you're not came brunette. in, and I am basically a brunette. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's a blonde. People it is. seem to think that blonde is yeah. platinum, you know, and blonde is no, not. Well, this thin. is a little a little frosted. A no, little I help. think it's wonderful. It's yeah. blonde. Yeah. You're blonde and beautiful. I am. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but I, I I'm uh, I'm happy as a brunette because I think uh, men marry brunettes. More often than blondes. Sorry about that, Sybil. <laughs> they marry brunettes and then they become blondes. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes a, a, a woman can be very attractive and, and, and without, you know, and be very vivacious, like Teresa Brewer. Yes, yeah, she's a cute, perky per Let's do her. Why not? Oh, I love her. Yes. I put another nickel in the nickel of the like sitting next to a jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my favorite blondes is, uh, is Diana Shaw, because she is just so wonderful. 
Hudson, she is just so fantastic, and she is just so wonderful. You know, I tell you something. Dinah said that that you know when she first started going out with Bert, and every time he tried to kiss me, you know, it was just so terrible because mine had a habit. I kept going, no, and he kept falling on the floor. <laughs> There are also women whose, whose beauty seems to get more interesting as the years go on, like Lena Horne. She never ages. Could you yeah, do Lena? Lena Horne. Catherine Hepburn, she always goes on. She's one of them. Lena Horne. Um, you like her, don't you? Oh, sure do. Yeah. There's no sun up in the sky. Tell me Keeps raining, it's raining, it's raining all the time. Daryl, Mike, you're coming right back. 